course, when it comes to building muscle, you got to make sure you're hitting the weights. But what's even more important is making sure you got a good amount of protein in. Let me give you three tips on how protein is going to help you over time. Check it out. The first tip, of course, is making sure that you're getting good protein in, right? Around one gram per pound of body weight. But especially as we get older in our 50s and 60s plus, protein becomes even more important. To make a long story short, as you get older, it gets harder to kind of utilize and synthesize protein. And so you want to make sure protein stays high as you get older that's gonna help you out with building some muscle. Also in general, as we know, if you are someone who's looking to build muscle mass, you want to have a good amount of protein. Like I mentioned, getting anywhere around 0.8 to 1.5 grams per pound of body weight is gonna be a good rule of thumb, so long as you're doing resistance training. So if you weigh 150 pounds, you get 150 grams a day and you're training hard, you should expect to see some pretty good gains in building muscle. And lastly, protein is a really good tool for helping you maintain your calories. So obviously you gotta eat more protein so you can gain some muscle mass. But you also wanna make sure that you're not eating a ton of extra food and putting on a lot of extra body fat. Well, protein tends to make you more full compared to carbs or fat on average. Like it's very hard to eat, you know, a two pound steak versus eating a bag of potato chips. So it's gonna really help you modify your calories and so that way you can put on muscle and as little body fat as possible.